So today we're going to be starting intros. I should turn my light on. With lychee and peaches. Peaches is up there. And cookie crumb. And unfortunately, the problem I'm having because of my tendonitis and having to be in a brace for six weeks, I'm not allowed to lift anything over 10 pounds. I also need to be extremely careful not to overtax my tendon, which means deep cleaning this beast is out. Um, and I don't really have a good way to make it smaller with the way it's currently laid out. So my plan is to use the bin cage instead. Because of all that, I have my absolutely massive bin cage. I've actually set it on top of the coordination to give a good idea of how big it is because I feel like a lot of people see a bin and they think it's tiny. That's a 50 gallon bin and it's only, let's measure. It's only like little less than seven inches smaller in width than this. It's almost the same height too. <clears throat> I'm not going to measure that right now because I only have one arm, but it's plenty big enough for two and a half rats. In fact, going by pet standards, it's big enough for four rats. Typically, I only use it for travel, but in this case, I'm going to be using it full time. So you will be seeing that. Boys are going to get some playpen time and then I'm going to put bedding in this and food and water and that's it. And that's how it's going to start and they're going to be in that. I do want to empty this. I'm not going to be able to fully scrub it because of the way my arm is healing, but I want to empty it so that there's not that smell right underneath them. And I've even considered taking this downstairs. I really don't anticipate any problems because, do you still have cookie crumb? Is he peeking? Cookie crumb has been playing with everybody pretty much every day since he got his staples out definitely every day and he's doing great. They all play very well in the playpen. I just feel like because this smells like these two guys, I tried just putting him in and Peaches was having none of it. He was like, this is my space, you little whippersnapper. And so he beat him up a little bit. Normal for rats, nothing was, no one was hurt, but I just didn't feel comfortable just putting him in. So we're gonna do proper intros instead. In previous times, when I had grits, grits and lychee just accepted everybody in intros and I didn't even have to clean, but I did anyway because it made me feel better. All I did was change bedding and everybody was like, oh, new friends, woohoo. But Peaches is a little more persnickety and that's okay. He's not, there's nothing wrong with him. He's not aggressive. He's never hurt Cookie. So I'm not worried about that. I am just trying to be cautious and also mindful of my health situation. Peaches, are you a hamster for real? <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's from the burrow. Oh, oh, my oh my she's God. burrowing. <laughs> <laughs> what a goober. <laughs> I've never seen them do that before. I've seen them do it. Look at Lychee. I see Lychee, he's being a monkey. Lychee, are you a monkey? He's a tree kangaroo. Tree kangaroo, that's funny. I forgot to mention this earlier, so I'm just gonna put this in in the right place, but I don't latch my bin during the first bit of intros because I'm in the same room and I'm just making sure that I can get into it really quick if I need to, to separate anybody. Look at him burrow. He Peaches. burrow because he's a hamster. Peaches. What? Are you a hamster? Maybe I am. <laughs> Look at him. They're having like so much fun. You can't even <laughs> look at <laughs> Cat proofing. Cat proofing. So the rats are downstairs because we're gonna be doing school in just a little bit and I don't really anticipate problems, but I wanna be able to watch and split up if there is an issue. That's why I have a carrier down there. I have oven mitts and a towel right there. And we have the board up so that the cat cannot get to them because he really wanted to put his paws on the table and his nose against the cage, which is just not safe for many, many reasons. They are a little sneezy. They are all on medicine. So 
Um, and it's nothing to do with the bedding. When I injured my arm, I was unable to continue their medication. So it had to just stop. And with antibiotics, that's not a good thing. So they never finished out their round of medication. So they're back on meds. I'm able to give it to them. And hopefully that will stop the sneezing entirely, but we'll see. Anyhow, this is stage one and I will fill it up with stuff as intros progress so that you can see how I deck it out. Right now it has bedding, food, and water, and rats, and that's it. Cuddle pile, the CC is bored and really wants to do stuff. Look at him licking on lychee. Aw, how sweet. So sweet. That little tiny guy is definitely the dominant rat in the group. Really? Oh yeah. How do you know? Because. I think Peaches wants to be the head of the group. But they're all snuggled, this is good. Peaches is exhausted. Lychee's looking for food. And he's gonna sit on Peaches. He's a weighted blanket, that's his job. So, if they're good for another hour, I'm gonna put a hammock right here. Cece keeps climbing on this and then falling. So I really want a hammock there to catch him. But I don't see any problems. I think they're gonna be fine. They have earned a hammock. It's been a little over an hour and a half. Probably longer than that because I forgot to start the timer at first, but so they're getting a hammock. I have Quits. picked a double one because they like to sleep in the bottom portion. So it kind of doubles as a hide. And this is where the window is. So we're gonna put the lid on so nobody escapes. It's important when you add anything to the cage that you wait about an hour or two to see how they behave before adding anything else. If they are acting like puffy, grumpy, or not letting somebody in, take that item out and that puts it a step back to where they were previously okay. They may just need a little longer to realize that it's okay, it's the same rats, and it's fine. I've seen no puffiness, no grumpiness, just some general grooming, and everybody seems fine. So we went ahead and added this, and we'll see how it does. Okay, new stuff, new stuff. Added a bag for shredding, ladder, and two perches. I need to add a hide, probably right here and a couple of ropes maybe or the scarf hanger would also work and some fortune toys but for right now this is good i don't want to rush it too much so we're going to stick with this probably the rest of the day and then tomorrow i'll throw some extra stuff in so the boys were good all night we actually did not hear a single peep from them so i have added more stuff and this is what they got we put the scarf hanger in and here's a pro tip if you have a cage that this is not going to fit like the full length you can fold it and attach it like this this works great i do that with this end too because the hook doesn't really work well on that got some rope a couple of branches and then i added some perches i took this other one out because they weren't really using it thought this would be better and i think that's true and then i added half of a 12 can box so it's a hide but it's open if they are good for the rest of like the next few days then i will put a full size box in for them but for now that's what they get so they've got stuff to do the last thing i have to do is make some forging toys which i am going to do that in just a few minutes have moved back to the rat room and I'm so happy about it so here's their setup I have moved let's see if I can remember that top large drawer right there that is hanging items like pipe cleaners and lanyard clips and all the things second drawer is naturalistic hammocks bottom drawer is holiday hammocks over here bottom drawer is forging toys and all the perches are in there right now except for what's put up elsewhere. Those are just the ones I've used a lot. Then in that drawer is Chew Toys. And that one, what did I put in this one? Oh, that is covers for 
perches, like the flat one with the wire that I made from Dollar Tree, and lighter covers, which I don't know if I'm going to use. And they may get put somewhere else, but for now, here's what it is. I did put a shower curtain behind their cage because the amount of snot that I cleaned off the wall from the chronic sneezing was ridiculous. So now I don't have to worry about that. I have a prettier one to hang behind it, but I can't find it right now, despite having cleaned. So we'll just do that later. Here's what it looks like. Oh, look how cute you are. That's Lychee's tail, by the way. Your little tiny bald head. If your forever grows back. Maybe just filling in a little bit. You you are so cute. You're cute too. You're both cute. Hi. Oh, he come to say hi. Just thought I'd show you the finished setup because I found my pretty shower curtain and I hung up my little garland from it was a cage decoration previously but when I washed it it's not safe anymore inside the cage so I thought it looked pretty there I'm really happy with how this came out it's just I'm loving this more rustic natural theme it just makes me feel like I am able to breathe and it's very calming for me so loving this I really like that these bins look like baskets I didn't close that one I hope there's no shavings in it but there probably is I shall fix that later but here we go